Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here. Back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hide applications on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series which includes the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Samsung Galaxy S23. First method is you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen. Then you go into settings. Once you are in settings, you will see the option of hide apps on home screen and app screens. Select this and then you can select whatever app you want to hide. So let us say we want to hide Chrome. You have the check mark on Chrome and then make sure you select on done and bam there it is you can see that we do not have chrome anymore either on our home screen or in our application drawer now super important thing to note over here is that if you want to revert it all you have to do is go back into settings go into the hide apps section tap on the minus sign beside the application and select done and bam there it is you can see that chrome should now be added to our app drawer here it is so this method is pretty insecure in my humble opinion anybody who knows their way around one ui will be able to figure out if you've hidden any applications the next method i'm going to show you is a good one because that one is going to hide your apps and your data behind a password or a pin which can be separate from your normal lock screen pin so you will go into settings once you are in settings you will go into security and privacy herein you need to scroll down and go into secure folder now do note it will ask you to sign into your samsung account and there is no way of bypassing that so let us select secure folder and then it is giving us a welcome message we're going to say continue and then this is the permissions it requires we're going to say continue one more time and it is going to create the secure folder now this process will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is once the secure folder has been created it will tell you you need to set up a pin or password for it so let us go ahead and select a pin now just for simplicity sake i am using a pin which you should not be using which is one two three four now once this is done it is telling us do you want to turn on reset with samsung account so if you forget to unlock secure folder you can reset your lock using your samsung account but only if you've already turned on reset with samsung account so in case you forget your pen you want to you know get your secure data back we'll just go ahead and say activate that next thing we've done all these things we are going to say next and bam there it is you can see that this is our secure folder so now if you close it go to your application drawer tap on secure folder it is opened by default because of a certain setting so let us now try it one more time bam there it is you can see we unlocked our device and it is asking us for our pin to access the secure folder so now what if you want to add any application all you have to do is tap on this plus sign now once you tap on the plus sign you will see different options so you have download from play store download from galaxy store or add apps from phone super important thing to note over here is that it is going to create a duplicate of that application inside the secure folder if it is already installed on your device so let us say i have the cpu throttle application right i select this and i say add now cpu throttle application has been added to my secure folder so let us go ahead and lock and unlock the device and then we can access our app drawer so here it is you can see i already have cpu throttling if i open it it opens up without any issues why because this is not inside the secure folder so let us do one thing we'll go ahead and uninstall this one now once that is done let us open our secure folder and of course you can unlock it with your fingerprint as well and bam here it is you can see i have the cpu throttle application over here hidden behind my fingerprint or my pin for the secure folder which i had set up so important thing to note over here as i mentioned earlier is that it is going to create a replica of the already installed application so make sure that you remove the already installed app if you want to hide it using the secure folder now there are a few other settings which you can go ahead and customize if you go back into security and privacy and secure folder so 
as you can see you can set the lock type you can auto lock your secure folder every time you leave an app or when the screen turns off or after a specific amount of time or when the phone restarts and if you ever want to uninstall this you will go into more settings and select uninstall over here which is going to remove the secure folder and other than your applications you can also move your photos your videos any other important data which you want hidden behind another pin or your fingerprint inside the secure folder and there it is peeps that is how you hide your applications on your samsung galaxy s23 series which includes the s23 ultra the s23 plus and the samsung galaxy s23